Hello, hello, my friends. Tishina here with Bidactiva, and I am here with a bonus Feel Good Friday live. I'm doing a joint live, which I do just once in a while. And so here in the United States, Eastern Standard Time in particular, it is about lunchtime. And so you guys know I'm into my emotional wellness and helping people have tools for emotional regulation and calming. And so for lunchtime for us, and if you're in another time zone, you can watch it later, we are going to do some flow states. So some music for relaxation, and I'm having a chat with a new friend. So hopefully he will see me go live so I can uh, find him in order to add him. But that's what we're going to be talking about for my lunchtime feel good Friday. My phone. Let me see if there's a way for me to look for him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let me go invite him. Here we go. We will uh, chat a little bit about music, chat a little bit about why music is so helpful, how we love music, how we're into music. Why is some of my hair for y'all? What is that? I'm in my hair. Okay, got that out. <laughs> I think it was, I don't know what that was. Oh. So yeah, I just invited my guests and these Instagram thingies are always, I take a couple seconds and all that good stuff, but we will get started as soon as he is able to join me. He'll be playing the piano. And the fun thing is, is that he's from the island of Malta. So y'all know I'm an extreme extrovert. I was so excited to be out last night and be with people. But I do love the fact that I'm able to to really like get with people that are all over the world. It's so just amazing and wonderful. Oh, let me invite him again. So as you guys hop on here, let me know what city, state, or country you are joining me from. There you are. Hello, Hi. everybody. Hello, hello. Hey, Julie. Actually, I'm going to be a magician. I'm going to do a small vanishing act, and I'm coming in two seconds. Keep there. Stay okay. there. I'm coming. I'm coming. All good. All good. All good. So, yeah, as you guys hop on here, let me know what city, state, or country you are watching us from today. And if you watch the replay, then hashtag replay. Okay. Yes, you have a, <laughs> a musical shirt on. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So what time is it there? Uh, time is 5.30 something p.m. Okay. Yeah. So we are at lunchtime here in Eastern Standard Time, New York time. So yeah, it is lunchtime for us here. And we were going to just uh -huh. check in a little bit. So first of all, tell my audience what's your name and where you're from. Okay, here goes. This is Norman Cristina from Mosta, Malta. I live in Mosta. And a small, like, fun fact, Mosta is in the center of the island. Now, we have a, a, a word for love is imhabba. And, Im -habba? and habba means center. Imhabba is the word for love in Maltese. And habba means center, something in the center. So imhabba, like something in the center. And Mosta is in the center. So that's a little fun fact for you. Nice, 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 nice. So tell me what your goals are right now. Like, what are you doing? How are you helping people? What are the things you have on deck? I have a long list of things, but one particular one, which is what we're going to be speaking about today, um, at least in part, is this beautiful experience of music coming not from me, as, as if I'm composing a piece of music, but music coming through me, Okay, literally coming out of my fingers. There's the whole story being written out as well. And not that per se, but the effect of the music on people left me so like that, so jaw-dropped with each and every 
Um, hello, everybody, by the way. I don't know your names, and I see a lot of people popping up, so hello, hello. Um, it left me, the effect on people left me so awestruck that I had to, literally had to, um, embrace the mission of bringing it forward to the world. Other than that, I play piano, of course, I teach music, and I teach djembe, I play djembe as well, so there's something to do with that. And I'm okay, into a lot of things. djembe? I'm from the United States, what's djembe? Okay, the djembe is, this one is one version of a djembe. It's a factory made djembe. This is the, an African drum originally, but the actual proper African drum, or closer to it, is this one here. There we go. So this is an actual coming up, making the reveal. The reveal, it's made of wood, yes. And the way it's stringed is what makes it a djembe, this, this particular way. So it's a drum. All right, it's a drum. And it's stringed in this particular manner. Awesome. All right, so there's a wooden shell there and a drum and a skin. And underneath here, there would be usually a metal ring. And there's a hole. It also rings and vibrates. <laughs> Echoes, I mean. And there's a whole procedure of putting the drum together and, of course, of teaching it, of playing, and, and, and. So that's, that's the gem before you, yeah. Okay, African. wonderful. So what, tell me a little bit about your history with music. Why, why do you like music, piano, all these things? I think it was going to be a very natural obviousity, in a sense, because my parents are both into music, not as in professional careers, but... My dad used to play the clarinet in the local band club, and he was exceptionally good at that. There's a particular skill in music that he has that very, very, very few people actually do have. And uh, my mom uh, plays the keys, like sort of like me, like, you know, like piano and organ and stuff like that. Her mom, famous actress in Malta, 51 year career, um, and also a singer, beautiful, my granny, lovely Nana. <laughs> and her husband, dancer and drummer. So, I mean, like, it's pretty obvious that I took at least all of that part um, of the family's, like, heritage, so to speak, and embodied it. Um, so, like, it's, it's pretty natural. Plus, of course, we had a piano at home, and my parents wanted to educate me in music as well. So that's the reason how I, uh, why I started. When I started... I started tinkling at age four. Nice. Already. So, yeah, yeah, so that's a pretty early start. However, when one gets into the whole of my story, which is not the scope for today, um, but mm -hmm. when one gets into the whole of my story after like four years, or after four years about after starting, I actually quit. Oh, wow. I actually quit music and returned after six years. And then it's like music. Bam. Uh, not even, not, not completely, actually. So then it was music, it was added again. Then another shift or wave or advancement or expansion happened in my life later on, and then it was bam. <laughs> like, now it's, like, on. Um, yeah. And, yeah, it's sort of, I, I became obsessed with music. Right. And yeah. I know that you teach it, but also, I mean, one, what's one of the the important reasons why you want to share it, like especially flow states and things like that with other people? Because even though I'm not comfortable actually claiming it myself, and I'm being very open about this, right, people have actually claimed that flow state is healing. And I was completely smacked in the face with that word because I, I said, like, listen, like, you know, they said, no, you have no idea what it's done. And the, the testimonies and reviews and the words from people that I have that are public is, are not the only ones. I have quite a few more that I, in a way, cannot um, make public for, for certain different reasons here and there. Um, so I have, I have longer lists of the effects of people. And all of them are, first of all, completely unique really, really completely unique. I mean, no two testimonials that I have are in any way, shape or form similar. They might use similar concepts or words or ideas, but the actual experience is totally different. 
But for people to claim that it is healing for them, holy, that, that just makes me like obliged right. to bring this music to the world, you know? It's like yeah. I have to. It's like I cannot do otherwise. It would be like really bad if I don't, like, you know? Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's, I mean, one of the reasons why we connected together. I'm a holistic wellness coach and I'm all about helping people have all the tools that they need for emotional regulation. And I'll talk to certain people and they'll be like, well, deep breathing doesn't work for me. Or I try to balance my emotions and I use this one essential oil. And a lot of times I'll tell them, we'll try to stack modalities, use a lot at once. And so like when I'm doing my deep breathing, I'll do essential oils and I'll have relaxing music in the background. And that just helps it really drive into your subconscious. And like you said, using all of those tools are really our creation, our sense of smell, our sense of touch, our sense of hearing. It just really helps heal us overall. Hey, Sharitha. Absolutely. Well, all right. When I publish this, I will definitely make sure that all of your links are there. Um, how do people get a hold of you? You want to tell them your, your Instagram and the best ways to get a hold of you? Yes. So best way to get a hold of everything is either Linktree or my website, which will be quoted because on those, there are all the other links because I, I honestly forget where I am. I know I'm on, of course, Facebook and Instagram. I do have a Tumblr, although I don't use it. I'm, I'm on Twitter. I'm on LinkedIn. I have an email address, but I, I'm in many places. But there is a con uh, follow me page on my website, and then there is the link to the link. So that's that's one of the ideal places where people can like check out where to contact me. Okay, perfect, perfect. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to you to give us like maybe five to seven minute session of uh, of some music. Brilliant. So, okay. I'm being, I, I actually, I went through this because a lot of times people use the very first part of their whatever it is. So, like, if you go to places where, where books are sold, you get the first chapter, or you get the first part. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a part that I'm going to ask for your patience, all listeners, please. There will be a part where I will cut off completely. It's not finished yet. Okay. Okay. So, there, that, that is a particular moment that I'll, I'll actually refer to later on um, if, if, if we have time and we can explain. But uh, like I need to go through the, through the process of that. So don't, don't sort of don't start clapping. Don't, I mean, not, not, not as in clapping, but don't, don't think it's ready because there's a particular moment coming after silence, okay? And okay. Uh, I'll build up for it and touch it and uh, work through that. So okay. shall I just play? Let me try. Uh, I'm going to try to bring my fingers so that you can actually see me. Okay, perfect. Although it might not be that visible. I'll try my best, okay? Yep. Okay, so this is not the first section. We're going through it. So there, we're coming from a, a certain part. And then we're going to go into this part here. Enjoy and open up, people. <laughs>
for now because of time reasons of course mm -hmm. and the whole point of the lift and the cut there was to allow the music to sink in because there's some moments where it becomes so fast so intense you know that then you need to contrast it with silence and nothing of this i promise you none of this is coming from here None of it. It just comes. I have to look up because it's, it's coming from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And I also chose this part in order to honor a great friend of mine. He's like my brother who was present in the room when this part was being created or actually being channeled. Like when this part came to life, my friend Stefan was in the room. and it this part is also affected directly by his energies so it's like music has so much potency so much power it's like it's not even funny you know it's through my work that i discover that i'm like healing people just by having lessons you know just by being there just by learning by even by even maybe by talking about or listening to or engaging with music it's the way things happen is it's it's inexplicable absolutely absolutely so thank you so much thank you everyone for joining again so this will be available for you guys to 
rewatch and we will do like a full more class type setting that'll be like 45 minutes on October 25th where you guys can interact with us, ask questions on Zoom. So we're really excited about that. But until then, everyone have an amazing day and we will chat with you later. Bye guys. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Love from Malta. Take care. <laughs>